Welcome back to Tracy T Talks and I am Tracy, your host. Um, today I'm going to show you how I make my meatloaf. Meatloaf is really simple. It's more or less like a, a one pot dish. You can either mix all of your ingredients in the same pan that you're going to put it in the oven or you can mix everything into a bowl and then put it in the pan and then put it in the oven. That's how I'm going to do it tonight just for this video purposes. But usually I just use the same pan that I'm going to use it in the oven and mix everything together and then that's one less thing that I have to wash. As usual, I have my glass of wine, and what am I drinking, you ask? I am so glad that you asked. I am drinking Stella Rosa, green apple. This is really good, guys. I'm trying to finish off this bottle before I open up another one. As you can see, I don't have that much left, but no worries. I keep my wine um, stash stocked, so I never run out, okay? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you all the ingredients that I use. Sometimes it changes, but more or less, these are the basic ingredients that I use. All right, so um, let me turn this camera down so you can see everything that I'm doing. All right, so here I have two packages of turkey meat. We use turkey meat in my household. I've been using it for years and years and years, at least 25. Um, so this is about two pounds of turkey meat. I also have here, as you can see, I have um, onions and bell peppers cut up. Now I have breadcrumbs because that's what I have in my cabinet um, today. But sometimes um, I can use crackers or even breadcrumbs, um, like real breadcrumbs if I don't have that. So I'll use that today. I have some black pepper, Louisiana hot sauce, ketchup. I have Italian seasoning, onion powder. Um, I have another thing of black pepper because I think I'm almost out of that one. So, And then I have barbecue sauce. I have garlic powder. Old Bay. I have some minced garlic. This is the big jar. And I have this W word, Worcestershire sauce. And then I also have some sugar, which you can probably see without me. That's right here, sugar. And then I have two eggs. The eggs will kind of vary depending on how much meat you're gonna use, give or take some. I usually try to use one per pound of meat. All right, so what I'm gonna do here, so I'm gonna move this out of the way so you guys can see everything going into this bowl. Um, I have the two pounds of meat and I am gonna go ahead and add all of these vegetables in here. Now I also make um, meatloaf another way uh, with white gravy and if I use white gravy instead of um, this then I will use most of the ingredients except for the ketchup, um, the hot sauce. I, I will use everything except for the, the dark ingredients. Um, all right, so we added the vegetables in here. I'm gonna go ahead and pour these eggs in here as well. All right, now I've got these breadcrumbs. Don't think I have that much in there, so I'll probably use the rest of them. Yes, I will use the rest of the breadcrumbs in there. Okay, now I don't usually measure anything, so we just kind of eyeball it here. And again, you can adjust this towards your own liking. This is pepper that I'm putting in here. Okay, and then ketchup. Again, I'm sorry, I don't, um, I don't measure anything. I just kind of eyeball it. Hot sauce is for your own spicy level. Onion powder. Italian seasoning. Garlic. 
garlic powder. Barbecue sauce. I know a lot of people are like, you put barbecue sauce in your meatloaf? Yes, I do. And if you have ever had my meatloaf, it's absolutely delicious. The flavor, um, this meatloaf is moist. It's not dry. Um, I have the oven on right now at 375, and I already sprayed my cooking pan with nonstick spray. This is Old Bay. Um, go ahead and put this in here. Notice I don't have any salt because everything else that I'm using has some salt in it, especially this um, Old Bay. And this garlic. Just my little knife that I cut up the vegetables with and sprinkle some in here. And I have that Worcestershire sauce. I'll probably use the rest that I have in this bottle. Okay, and then sugar. Okay, so now I have all the ingredients in there that I'm going to use. I'm getting ready to put this glove on because um, because I have them. Um, or I would just use my regular hands. But normally I use gloves for everything because I don't like to get them out from um, under my nails. So I'm just going to go ahead and mix this up well. And I like to use my hands because it just seems to better uh, mix everything together than rather using a, a spoon or a knife or, or something. So you can kind of see here how everything mixes well together. This meatloaf will come out moist and flavorful. Now what I do is once I mix it up one good time, I kind of look at it to see if it needs anything else. Um, I'll probably add a little bit more ketchup and barbecue sauce to this. Open up this ketchup bottle. And then the barbecue sauce. No worries, I do have another bottle of barbecue sauce. Now, once I put this in the pan and um, get it shaped the way that I want it to bake, I let that cook. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to watch it um, bake in the oven at 375, uncovered, probably for about at least 30 minutes, 45 minutes at the most. You want to check it and the sides of the pan will start to turn brown and the meat should be fairly almost cooked. And then what I do is I drain all that um, grease and whatnot that's going to be in the pan. And then once I take that out after the first 30, 45 minutes, then I make my topping um, sauce to go over uh, the meatloaf. And that's just going to consist of my barbecue sauce, my ketchup, um, whatever you want to go on your topping, in your topping. Um, you can put more hot sauce in there or 
sugar or whatever and then you just spread it over the top of it and then you put it back in the oven for maybe about 15 or 20 more minutes to make sure that it kind of cooks in with the meatloaf and then you'll take it out and it'll be beautiful all right so this is good what i'm going to do now is i have my pan already sprayed and ready to go you can kind of see the spray already in there take a wine break all right now i'm going to pour this or scoop it i guess it's not really a pouring let's scoop it in this pan All right, and then you kind of just shape it in the pan that you want it, how you want it to cook. I don't want it to be so thick where it takes a long time to cook. You can make it into a loaf or you can kind of just make it, you know, however you want is fine. And then I'm going to put this, excuse me, I'm going to put this in the oven and let this cook, like I said, at 375 for about 30 minutes at first. And then I'll check it at 30 minutes and see how it looks. Now, the sides of your pan here will start to brown a little bit. And that's just because everything is cooking and splattering, you know, from the, from the meatloaf that you have in here. And then, um... You can kind of look and see if the meat is cooked or not. And if it is, then go ahead and put the sauce that you make to go over the top. You're going to lay it over the top or spread it, you know, out. I usually just take a spoon and just go over the top. Cover it well. I keep a little bit of sauce extra in case my kids want to use extra over the top of it. And then you put it back in the oven uncovered for about 15 to 20 minutes and let that cook over the top and let it set in. And then you will have a awesome meatloaf. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in the oven and get this started. I will be back um, as we progress throughout the video. All right. All right, guys, so it's been about 30 minutes, um, almost 40 minutes, and I took the meatloaf out of the oven. This is what it looks like here, and those juices is what I was talking about. After you take it out, you're going to want to drain those juices. Um, so that's what I do. I'm going to go ahead and drain it now. So we've drained the juices in the pan. Not all of them, but most. You saw how high it was in there. And yes, this is done. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and take that sauce that I told you to top it with. And I'm just going to put it over the top of the meatloaf like that. Woo! It's kind of hot. Mm -hmm. All right. So we just cover it up like that. And then we're gonna stick it back in the oven for about 15 minutes. And then I have some extra sauce in this bowl to use over it once it comes out, if the boys wanna use extra sauce. So we're gonna put this back in the oven and then um, I will come back for one final review of what it looks like when it is completed. All right, this is the finished meatloaf that just came out of the oven for the last time. I'm going to go ahead and cut it.
so that you can see how moist it is and what the inside looks like. Usually I just get a spoon and scoop it out. Um, it's still super hot, y'all. So. looks like out of the oven. I don't know if it's going to zoom in good or not. Hmm. Alright, but you can kind of see how moist it is. It's not dry. Look at that piece. It just falls apart there. Trying to get this so y'all can see it good. Hmm. You see that steam coming off of there? All right. So that's how I make my meatloaf, guys. Well, one of the ways that I make it. Um, I hope you guys enjoy it. Let me know if you try it. If you try it, let me know if you like it. Uh, please subscribe and hit that like button. If you do, thanks for watching Tracy T Talks, guys.